hello friends today i'm going to show you how to create a gms account and uh, and use for uh, sql server so since it is not not dba related work but we have to know what what is happening on to the coin of other side okay uh, let's get uh, so this is my active directory and this is my member server okay so in this machine i have initial sql server you know the what active directory means okay before going to this uh, first open active directory users on computers and right click on that create new group okay uh, group name anything and the group should be always security and select global level okay so once group is created here i have created sql admins okay so click on members you need to click add members and everything here select active directory select all the compu computers i uh, computers as well click ok i am going i need gms account for node 4 so i have added for node 4 as well okay so before testing this video i already tested with a scale test user so now i am proceeding to show you demo without any errors and uh, the prerequisite all this i am showing again so now assume that i have created sql admins okay so i have added node 3 and node 4 currently now i have shut down node 3 so i am now i am working on node 4 so now to show you the practically how the gms account can be created uh, for node 4 okay so for you you just uh, come and text that or uh, just create a group with a security scope and uh, with security and a global glo scope is the global okay and add what are the computers that you need to use that uh, gms account so now as of now uh, i am going to use a skill admin security group okay and one more thing is so so how it is going to work so active directory uh it, the user account from where we are using that is going to fetch the password from active directory automatically for the mentioned period so in this mission uh, in this practical i am going to mention 365 it means it is going to ask the password in automatically for every 365 days okay so no, we no need to uh, there is a no chance of expiring the password in everything okay so now before going to this you need to install some roles okay this since it is an active directory it will get installed by default but you have to do this in the same in the node 4 as well in my case it is node 4 in your case where you want to use on the targeted missions you need to install click on that click on remote tools installation okay if you remote roles administration you need to select or ads in okay you need to install this one okay why uh, you ads and ad tools install you need to install this one okay so i have done this in the domain controller in the node 4 as well now you need to open the powershell powershell run it run with administrator always you need to open powershell with run as administrator mode so i have some list of commands i will explain you so here first you uh, you are going to execute you need to text the root key is created is or not for your domain controller click on execute what is that error okay something no no problem we can ignore this so it is not yet created or otherwise you can use this test root key okay sorry it is asking the key idea so no problem control z clear so i'm not sure why it is the command is working but this is just to know either the key is created or not so if it is not created so you can use this command in the active directory so to create gmz but here one thing you need to know is it will take 
10 hours to get created and it has to be replicated for all your domain environment so to avoid this what i am going to do i am going to use this command okay so if if you execute this command so there is no need to wait okay for uh, a root key now i can use this small command open this see here i'm in the, was i was doing the practical so they have created a number of root keys so this is uh, right now how actually should have one is recommended but based depend upon the purposes and everything in which may create anything uh, multiple things here i have created the latest this is the latest one so here in my case the root key is successfully got created okay now so now i want to use this command okay i need to create gms account so this is the using this command pro command let we are going to create that this is the name for since i want to create a gms account for node 2 so that's the reason for naming convention purpose i'm using uh, i want to create a service account with node 4 as well so i'm creating node 4 why because by seeing itself i came to know that okay this this gms account we are going to use for node 4 for that purpose i am naming for my convenience i am naming like that okay so principles retrieve the pass management from where we are going to use this one so it is sql admins this root account is going to useful on from security group sql admins okay and dns host name is just like so we are going to just like node 4 node 4 so okay node 4. so this is like just take like a fqdn name for uh, what are the naming convention that we are going the name for uh, it's like fqdn for the gms account okay sam account is also same other it is net it is sam account is nothing but net bias name so most of cases it should be same okay so right now in my case is also same so manage interval password 365 for it means for every 65 days it is going to ask the password of the active from the active directory so uh, it's a basic recommendation is to, to put all the command in entire one line just copy this and copy go to your active directory open powershell sorry copy so that node 4 is already got existed right so now what i am going to do so simple things okay node text 4 okay so node test 4 so node so the naming is already there right so now for have for my convenience i am giving that go to active directory click execute yep it is got created now whether it is got created or not okay so we can we can just go to active directory okay refresh here yep no see no test for got created now so i'm moving switching to the member server which is node for my in my case so i am already inform you that you need to install active directory tools why because it is going to fetch the password from the active directory so active directory model should be get installed and one more thing is go to the powershell open powershell with run as administrator mode here now you need to install that for one now test four so we are going to install the identity in the for this one member server so you got install and test this as well 
not test true it means we have successfully installed identity in node test force okay in this machine okay now we are good to use this one open uh, service.msc go to sql server so we are show, for example instead of uh, implementing on the server first implement on the node so why because if uh, anything goes and if anything goes on wrong so entire server will get down right so but it will be a bit better to check on the agent okay so right now check this server is also running fine right properties log on browser here select look active directory object name users and kind of service accounts now node test 4 see i didn't implement any dollar sign here but you once you check names so one we do not currently as of now there is no dollar when i click ok at the time it will dollar will get added see dollar will get added so this is the password you need to remove click apply okay okay now just restart it see now we came we got the confidence that it yes it is working now do the same thing for agent server okay active directory sql sorry node test 4 check username password remove the password remove the password click apply okay now restart the server as well okay so we have successfully set the password now open the server just connect remove this and connect again yep we have successfully got connected to the sql server okay so this is how we need to create gms account and we need to use for the agent but one thing what we need to remember this who's we are go, uh, who all these are going to create is, is it a SQL database administrator responsibility absolutely not so all these are created by the windows admin itself so our job is just to install these two in most of cases otherwise it is also going to do by windows admins only all these are has to be done by windows admins in real time but when coming to lab practicals we are the windows admin we are the network admin and firewall everything we have to act as only everything we have to okay in each role we have to assume ourselves okay so i am going to give these commands okay uh, in the description box you just replace with your values and you can execute it so while the first time i when i was doing all the practicals i have faced n number of errors okay so finally with this command i am very good so that's the reason i want to share my experience i don't want you to go through all these errors okay and uh, that's why i'm sharing okay so I will do the I will give all this uh, in order you just implement uh, in your environment and please if it is useful just comment in, uh, in the uh, video comment box so that I feel happy that my work is reaching uh, for all other members thank you bye